that administrators aren't laughing after character dress up day at a Pasco County High School. Three Wiregrass Ranch students are suspended after wearing what appears to be KKK hoods and robes. Fox 13's Evan Lambert is live at the school tonight where the costumes caused a wave of controversy. Evan. Kelly, the students and their friends shared those images on Snapchat. They spread quickly, leading to discipline from the school district. We had uh, three minority students uh, dressed as Klansmen, um, and uh, we quickly uh, took care of that situation. Uh, and those students will be up for uh, discipline. Pasco School Superintendent Kurt Browning made it clear that racist costumes are unacceptable. These pictures and video from Snapchat show three Wiregrass Ranch High School upperclassmen in what appears to be KKK robes and hoods. Thursday, they were supposed to dress up as characters for homecoming week. I think it's very, very sad that anybody would think that that's okay. Parent D. Green says she first brought the outfits to the principal's attention Thursday after her son saw the costumes on campus and got upset. The district says the students who dressed up were Hispanic and Middle Eastern. They first said they were dressed as ghosts, but Browning doesn't buy it. Usually ghosts don't have pointed hats, hoods. Uh, it was uh, pretty clear. Uh, when I saw the video, uh, what was being depicted in the video. That depiction angering and saddening students and parents on social media and inside the school community. You really don't think that you would experience this or you should experience this in 2016, but it just seems like everything as far as racial relations is concerned is going backwards instead of forward. Green hopes the students who chose the controversial costumes learn from their mistake and suspension. She also hopes the entire school community can use this exercise in poor judgment as a lesson. I think it should be a learning experience. I think the school should do something, some kind of diversity training, um, sensitivity training. And the school district says the homecoming dress up days will continue in the future, but they say they are going to take a look at whether they need to be more explicit about what is and what is not appropriate. Kelly. All right, Evan Lambert. Thank you, Evan.